So once upon a time, there were two distinct events, one called International Confex and the other called the Event Production Show. In 2016, the two co-located for the first time at Olympia. And the rationale behind that was that there were complementary audiences for both and that there were visitors who would visit both. So at that stage, they were sibling events. Um, over the last six, seven years, I would say they've moved on now to become more than siblings and I would describe them as conjoined twins. I'm now going to talk to Jack Newey and Steve T about their respective audiences and why event planners of any denomination should be coming to see us at Excel on the 28th, 29th of Feb because there's something and there's everything for event planners of all kinds. So uh, I'm Jack Nui, I'm the event director of International Confex, uh, which is the largest and longest standing exhibition for the mice industry in the UK. I'm Steve, I'm the show director for the event production show, which focuses on the outdoor live events industry. Who's your show for? International Confex is for anyone who works in the corporate or exhibition event market. So essentially our core audience are corporate event planners, um, agencies, associations, charities uh, and of course exhibition organisers. So anyone who runs an event in the corporate world whatsoever uh, will have some value in attending our show. The event production show focuses on the outdoor live events industry um, across three key pillars being music, being your festivals and concerts, your major sporting events like the F1 PGAs and then you've got your cultural events which is like your mass participation events. So you're talking like the Notting Hill Carnival, um, Hogmanay, London Marathon, that sort of events. It brings together suppliers and event organisers, promoters, agencies, and anyone that actually organises events in the outdoor world um, to EPS. Why should they come? Good question. Uh, and obviously what we're, um, we're trying to push out in our marketing is, is to show you why exactly. But the way we see it is it, you could be running a, a corporate lunch for um, a small number of people all the way up to a large scale exhibition for thousands of people. But if you're running an event and you want to learn from other people running events, you want to find out the best way to do it, the newest venues, the best cities to take your event to, um, all of that can be found at Confex. Confex is essentially the one stop shop which should save you months out of your year. Think of all the things you spend um, time doing, such as finding new venues, such as finding new AV suppliers and negotiating deals with them, um, finding caterers, finding um, new ways to engage with your delegates through event technology. You could do all of that in a couple of days at the show. So it really does take um, a lot of time off of your hands throughout the year to get all of that sorted. And so the key things that we try and push is that you will learn your network, um, you'll share your own ideas because there'll be some real value in you being at the show and, and meeting new people and, and sharing what you have to offer to them as well um, to connect the industry. But the real key thing is, is to, to do business with people. I mean, a lot of your job will be, will be spent trying to find new suppliers and trying to find new ways to make your event better. So if you can get there for two days and, and tick off all of those boxes, then that, that's creating some real value for you um, for your events in the future. Looking at the event production show, which is on the 28th and 29th at London Excel, um, I believe to say that it provides a platform for suppliers, which will be initial uh, one part of it. So suppliers that are exhibiting there are obviously from the outdoor live event industry sector sides of it. Um, it provides that platform for event organisers, promoters, agencies looking to utilise those exhibitors um, for their events that they run in the outdoor world. So it can be anything small from a local council run event all the way up to an event such as Glastonbury for example. So it doesn't stop at just at that buying aspect of it. It goes to a content driven with our main stage, which is powered by access all areas. Um, it goes to live experiences and in innovative ideas that the exhibitors put on in front of um, the visitors as well. So it's about that new technology that they share, um, what troubles they, they face in putting on an event on our main stage and our panel discussions. There's, there's so much content out there that it's not just about the buying and selling concept of it, there's a bigger scope through the ideas that we put forward. Why should a Confex visitor visit EPS and why should an EPS visitor make sure they attend Confex? There's no other show in the UK or uh, potentially the world 
where you can uh, have such a crossover between all the different event types where you will have event planners from festivals, you will have event planners from um, the corporate world, the exhibition world, um, the live music um, event world um, and the cultural events uh, as well. So the key thing about our shows being co-located is that it, it makes it incredibly unique because you're not going to get this anywhere else um, across the UK and potentially uh, further out either. If you're an event planner of any type, of any discipline, you've got to be attending the show because there's, there's so much for you to learn and there's so much for you to um, explore and find new ideas for your event, whatever it might be. So tell us, what's, tell the audience what's new this year at both shows. So, new at Confex this year, um, we have a new and improved version of the Buddy Scheme that we launched last year, um, but uh, running in association with Beam, um, they're going to be our partners on that. Essentially what it is, is uh, anyone who's never visited the show before, um, or maybe you have once or twice, but you're still feeling a little bit, um, not out of your depth, but um, you feel like there's more of the show that you can um, get value from. Um, Basically, we can assign you to a buddy and we're going to take round groups. They're going to meet in the morning on the first day of the show um, and they'll be walked around by an experienced buddy who's been at the show um, uh, a long time and, um, and knows the ins and outs and, and so can take you around. So it's, it's trying to break down that barrier of entry for people if they feel like the, the show is quite big. Because let's be honest, like we say, two shows are together. It's, it's a big room and there's a lot of people in there and it can be quite daunting for people on their first time out. So um, it's important that everyone feels welcome to the show because the show is for the events industry. Both shows are. So we want as many people to attend as, as possible. Um, also new at the show, we're launching an exhibition pavilion. Um, obviously the exhibition organisers have been such a core part of our audience for a long time, but they always uh, have attended the show in mass, which is great, but they haven't necessarily had a focal point for just themselves. Obviously, like we said, there's lots of crossover between conferences, corporate events, exhibitions, but there is still quite a distinct exhibition organiser personality. Um, some of their events don't really um, cross over to the other types of events, so it's important that they have their own dedicated place at the show to meet. Um, we're going to have a content area there and some suppliers for them to, to network directly with. So that will be a great uh, little location at the show to bring exhibition organisers together. Um, we have a new sponsor of our VIP lounge, which will be really exciting. We have Cvent on board, um, who are going to take the lounge to the next level. They've got some really cool activations planned in there, which is going to be great. So all of our VIP organisers at the show will have uh, a lovely plush lounge to relax, network and, and spend a bit of time in while they're at the show. And we also have a new media centre at the show this year, put on by our production partner, MASH Productions, uh, which is really exciting. We've not done this before um, to this degree. We're going to have a dedicated area for interviews. So I'm sure if you're at the show, you might be dragged away by one of our team uh, to conduct an interview to, to share your experience about the show and, and, and who you are and, and how you're bringing value to the events industry by being there. Um, and we're going to have some big screens on show so everyone can see the interviews um, across the event, which will, will bring the sort of community element um, a bit more of, of the event. Because like we say, the event's for everyone, but by you being there, you're making the event happen and you're making the events industry happen. So we want to get as many people involved and in front of the camera, chatting to us and sharing their experience as possible. We have a new and improved app across both shows this year, which is going to be launched um, in a couple of weeks' time. Really exciting. We're working with Grip on this app. Um, it has built-in matchmaking software um, based on people's needs and requirements on both ends. So exhibitors will be able to go in and sponsors and um, find uh, people that are their type of um, event organiser that they're looking to connect with. And also event organisers will be able to uh, go into the app and look for suppliers that meet their needs as well. So it will work on a matchmaking software to suggest people for you to meet with. You can then fill your diary pre-event um, so you can get to the show and um, have your two days full of meetings so you know exactly what you're going to be doing. And then you've got to find time in between those to, to make your way around the room and, and network with everyone. Just touching first on the, the EPS Lumia Voyage, it's giving visitors a chance to walk through two pathways. The first pathway is a VR route for uh, visitors to walk through like a festival experience. The second pathway is six individual boxes. It's to walk through like a light show, um, a laser room, a silent disco um, area, and then a production room. This is a, a new innovative idea that we thought about, and I'm really excited to show this off at EPS 24. Um, next, touching on base on the main stage, we have new content from Access Hall areas, um, new speaker lineups that we've not had in the past as well. So that is really exciting that we want to touch on. 
Um, this year we found out suppliers always wanted to have a, a speaking slot so we've given suppliers a chance to actually follow on a panel discussion to have them a, a 10 minute we've called it a transformer session um, it's basically just to speak to the audience about their what they do and direct them to the stands so that's a, a new way that we've pushed forward um, last year's eps we learned that suppliers buy from suppliers so we've touched on the base of suppliers being a, uh, exhibitors um, able to push out, into, uh, sorry, exhibitors to um, invite suppliers that they speak to or would like to speak to, to the event. Um, touching on based on the future stage, um, a day one content provided by NOAA um, and then the second day content provided by Naui. Um, but other than that, there are, it's the first time that EPS has had about 150 exhibitors. Um, it's since I've been here, it's the biggest EPS to date um, in regards from an exhibitor point of view and in regards from a visitor point of view as well. Um, so I'm just really excited to just showcase what EPS has grown and what it's got to. There are always a lot of events around the shows themselves. What other events are taking place around EPS and around Complex? The CN Agency Awards is taking place on the 1st of March, so the day after the shows themselves, and that's taking place at the De Vere Connaught Rooms in London. Uh, this will be our fifth year running the event now. Um, really successful and growing event from launch. It brings um, event agencies from all different types, event management, venue finding, uh, PR, marketing, um, to the forefront, um, shares their excellent work that they've been doing over the last uh, year, and um, helps raise the standard for all other agencies out there. So used to take place in the summer, now we've brought it in line with the shows because there's such a huge crossover for people attending uh, International Conflicts, so many agencies are there on the day, it makes sense for them to stay an extra day and attend the awards as well, um, saves them having to justify taking a, a day out of the office later in the year. So we're really excited for that. This year it's themed as Bridgerton. If you've been in the past, you'll know that we always theme these events. Uh, we've done Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Alice in Wonderland in the past. And this year Bridgerton really fits with the venue. Um, so we're expecting everyone to be in there. Um, frolics and uh, fluffy collars and all things for, for that awards and to have a really good day of celebrating. So tickets are still available for that. If people want to get in, um, involved, uh, check out the Conference News website. Um, just on the back of that, the Event Production Awards, which is normally taking place a month before the Event Production Show. Um, we're bringing it back on the first night of the Event Production Show. So it will be on the 28th of February at Indigo O2. Um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, historically it's always been said that suppliers are based all around the UK. Um, it, it's, getting, it's hard to get everyone in one room, but with the EPS being on day one, everyone's there in London already, it's, it's a no-brainer for us at the moment. Thank you both very much for your time and um, we look forward to seeing you all on the 28th and 29th of Feb at both shows. Hashtag see you at Confex. <laughs> Hashtag see you at EPS24.